I was working in a real estate company, and one day a modest young man, calm and reasonable, came to see me. He asked for help in finding a studio apartment. I liked him, we worked well together, and we found the perfect option for him, even managing to negotiate a discount. It seemed like a forgotten matter. But recently, an acquaintance casually mentioned that he had seen my wife at a certain apartment complex with this guy. They walked out of the entrance holding hands and came back with bags of groceries. At first, I didn't believe it, and I grinned and said, How can that be? My wife works all day, how can she be in two places at once? But I started to wonder, especially when the quarantine started and my wife said that her company had gone into a closed mode, meaning that they continued to work in the office. Time passed, but she continued to work the same way. I decided to call her office, something I had never done before and found the contact information for her company. I called and was deeply puzzled. A pleasant voice told me that during the pandemic all employees were sent to work remotely, but in the end the company went bankrupt and all employees had to be laid off. All this happened a year ago. I became curious and when my wife came home that evening, I shared with her the information I had gathered and my concerns. My wife's reaction stunned me, and I'm still in shock. She very calmly and even casually confirmed the stories of my acquaintance and the office assistant. It turns out that she has been in a relationship with this guy for a little over a year. But she didn't want to break up the marriage for the sake of our son. So you haven't worked for a year, and you've been living with another man, going to work every day at 8 in the morning coming back at nine from a non-existent job and acting perfectly calm about it all? I frowned. But what changed in our home during that time? My wife asked. I was speechless, but began to think. Sure, there was always dinner at home and she bought groceries. She spent time with our son and me in the evenings. But the situation itself didn't sit well with me I'm working, just in a different company where I'm well placed. She continued calmly. I contributed to the household budget and spent the rest as I saw fit. I was terribly bored with you and found an emotional partner for myself. I have always been clear and fair about my time with our son. I didn't abandon my role as a wife and mother I spent every night here, so there should be no accusations against me. She stood up decisively and left the room, leaving me sitting there in utter bewilderment and indignation. No dear, that's not enough. I caught her on her way out. Even for the sake of our child, I can't accept this. Knowing that you're with someone else and looking at you calmly next to me, I can't do it. And now our friends know about it and will look at me with suspicion. In the end, after discussing the matter all evening and going over the details, we decided to get a divorce. Our son stayed with her by mutual agreement, and I packed my things and moved out. We told our son that we had argued and that I would be living separately for a while. Later we'll see if the situation changes, and if we should tell him the truth or not. What happened next? All the responsibilities for our son that I used to take care of during her supposed working hours fell to her. She had to take him to his activities, help him with his homework, manage his closet, and attend school meetings. My son told me all this during our frequent meetings when I took him out on the weekends. Mom got nervous, couldn't keep up, and spent most of her time at home. Over time, her lover proved to be unnecessary for their infrequent meetings and my son began to insist that I should take him to live with me, because with me everything was done on time, and I knew his daily routine better. In the end, that's what happened my son moved in with me, and my ex was left to deal with the problems that had piled up, which I used to help solve, as did her lover. She also had to deal with a large loan she had taken out to help him 
by that very apartment. In situations like that, you start to believe in karma 